This is a little attempt of me trying to have a sit down and that's absolutely difficult. I'm used to doing things while I while I talk. So this is gonna be a change and I probably wanna gonna cut this out. Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Nyake. If you're new here, hi. I'm really glad to have you on here today. Today's video is a sit down video, clearly. So it's me and you just having a chat about things that I feel and things that I experience in my day to day life. And I just wanted to start sharing this bits and pieces because a shared experience might be very helpful to someone else so that's why so today's video I just want to talk about feeling good enough because a we all don't feel good enough at some point of our lives and B because um, it's something that we are working towards it's something that we are struggling to attain and I hope that my little tips can add to your encyclopedia of knowledge and we can be able to you know work towards feeling better about ourselves you know in this internet generation we're always bombarded with images information right in our hands which just causes us to question and doubt ourselves and the pace at which our life is going the state of our bodies and the state of our minds our achievements and, and because the information is really readily available, we are just walking bombs ready to explode. We're just, it's just like depression is just waiting for the next big thing to launch itself. I don't know if the depression rates have become really high or we just see it a lot more because we have readily available information but it's something that we've begun to struggle with a lot and we actually need to become aware about so i was just thinking about it because um i share little bits and pieces of my life on instagram and i try as much as i can and as much as my mind is present to be very intentional and to depict the whole reality of life okay so i'm if you've not seen my videos before if you're new here you should check i've linked them in the cards here or here <laughs> you should check them out but i talk about skincare a lot part of the reason that i do that apart from the fact that i really just enjoy taking care of my skin is the fact that I have dealt or struggled with acne since I was nine years old which is more than 10 years ago and so I struggled for the better part of my adolescent life into my adult life with acne and if you are acne prone if you are currently struggling and suffering from acne you know how the internet is not the place for you because either if someone is selling some miracle wonder drug that chances are won't work or everybody else has perfect skin and you just don't have and so um, in the wake of all this you know the way you can Photoshop everything and act like nothing is a problem I try and really just come on there bare-faced um, without any filters just to show people that you know you can leave you can have a normal life you cannot die and have acne like it's possible and you can be comfortable in your own skin this week when I came on stories and my skin was not having it literally I just had a breakout and I thought about not coming on 
but then i figured out that if i don't go on there with at the point of not feeling secure about my skin i am contributing to the narrative that is we are all perfect people we're all pretending to be perfect people so just out of that i came up with a few pointers that i want to share with you on how i work towards feeling good enough in a world where every other thing seems to shout you're not good enough one of the things that i i have mentioned and i'm i'm going to mention again create mindfully as a person who's decided to share their life and as a person who calls themselves a content creator i am aware and i am choosing to be aware of the fact that the internet is bombarding bombarding us with perfection i choose to show my imperfection to show my life as is to help change the narrative it's like a very long shot of activism <laughs> if you want to call it that but i just choose to go there you know with my rose with my acne with my not done hair with my matuta just to show people on the internet have normal lives because anyway some some of you we may never never meet in person you may only see bondo on vacation or bondo doing this really cool thing just know that we have no more lives and what is on instagram is highlights and so just not sharing my highlights but adding a touch of normal life to my everyday sharing you know we can make normal okay the other thing i've started to do is to curate my consumption so there's a quote that i'm going to insert here that says something that is very paraphrased to mean that the internet is not the problem most of the time you are the problem so i quickly realized that every time i feel bad about my body about my financial situation about my state in life about my speed in life whatever it is it's it's a me problem so what i started to do is to go to the to have a purpose or have a have a clear cut um intention when i go to the internet so that i am taking care of what i consume because anyway what you consume on the internet is your responsibility so i curate what i consume from the internet which i have chosen to be things that inspire creativity and not just people who make me feel bad or question my life choices. So the other thing is understanding that we are all human and common things are more common. I don't know if it's just me, but I usually get so invested in some internet relationships. Okay, maybe not so invested. I'm always asking myself existential questions when love fails. <laughs> maybe i'm just a sucker for love i was talking with my best friend the other day and so it was just in the wake of a certain youtube couple breaking up and people saying a couple of things about it and and i usually ask myself you know like people's breakups make me ask myself for whether uh, whether love is real and those kinds of things and sometimes you know we put the people who we follow people who we find on the internet on such high pedestals we forget that they're just human just like everybody else one of the things that i've started to do is just to understand that people are human people on the internet celebrities why not are just human okay and they go through the same struggles that everybody else goes through and understanding that helps you to manage your expectations which is my next point So sometimes you expect so much from strangers, from people who you barely even understand. And just because they decided, "Hey, we're going to share, we're going to share this on the internet." And we have 
such huge expectations for them. I remember, again, another famous Kenyan couple, Kenyan celebrity couple. And they were so, you know, the perfect fit. I was, that one, I was invested. They were such a perfect fit. And I was like, God, this is everything. And when they break, they broke up, I was hot. Like I was in that relationship. You know, I'm like, no, how could it not work? I mean, does love exist anyway? What do you mean at this point? What? And you can see how high you have placed those people and how much you expect from them because of what you have created in your head. So one of the things now I'm trying to do and I'm trying to, even if I see really cute couples and I really love them and, 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 and see really people winning in life and I, you know, they're my role models and my Instagram aunties and sisters. I, I really, really, um, try to keep in mind that they're human so it helps me really manage my expectations so that when they do something dumb i'm not caught up the other thing is to consume usefully in addition to curating what you are consuming you need to consume with intention and consume things that will help you don't just at the watch trash tv and then that's it try and learn something from the people and the things that you consume on the internet or in social media in general and what what this does is you surround yourself with things that inspire creativity so that it's also helping you because remember you spend about three hours two hours one and a half hours to three hours depending on who you are <laughs> on, on on social media in a day and so this three hours at least some usefulness should be generated out of it so what what happens when you learn something or when it's inspiring something it's also improving your life which boosts your confidence in return because remember we are trying to feel good about ourselves and then the last thing and i want to dwell on this a little bit is accepting yourself what i what i can illustrate this really well with is a natural hair journey you know how um when you start your natural hair journey and you've just big chopped and you're so excited and you're like in three years my hair will be like craving your hair <laughs> you know that feeling or you're, you're watching all these videos of people doing flexi rods and and palm rods and all these fancy stuff and up dooms and 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 you're really really hopeful and then you get into your one year and your second year and you still can't do that updo or your hair is not behaving like so and so's hair because your the hair is different from yours and 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 you begin to feel discouraged like this natural hair thing is not for me just because you're different you you have a different hair texture and they have a different hair texture life is a little bit like that accepting your situation and what you have to work with and you know your body your skin your hair your financial situation your mind is one of the very uh, key things in feeling good about yourself for the longest time i used to feel like my skin is so ugly like who would want to look at my skin because i had acne from god knows when and i had things that you know active breakout breakouts and my skin was was really taking a toll from all the acne medication herbs all those things are strong on my skin and i did not like how my face looks like like i never used to look at myself on the mirror can you believe it I never used to and I didn't like myself at all I remember thinking that maybe I, I don't know grow my intellectual self because <laughs> my beauty wasn't cutting it it was not cutting it at all the more I dislike myself you know no matter how many acne treatments whatever things I tried nothing never nothing ever really used to work then one day i just i was just like okay fine acne is not going anywhere we just better start getting used to it and so 
it stopped bothering me like my acne absolutely stopped bothering me you know i'd find people asking me to telling me that they have soap and things like those you know those funny things that people usually tell you when you have acne and i was like i don't really give two shits about it and i stopped hiding and stopped covering myself and just let every other thing about me shine because there's nothing i can do about my face and my personality become began to shine and people started warming up to me and i had no idea because i let my skin stand in my way and heed because of it and really just dimmed my light because i thought nobody could get past my skin funny enough maybe this is just correlation but my skin just started to behave when i stopped caring about but when i when i accepted myself and when i was like you know what it doesn't matter i am going to shine regardless um i just started to thrive and i started to attract amazing people and i started doing things that i never would have done because my skin was apparently really bad it's it's interesting because Perhaps my skin wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but I told myself that my skin was bad, you know? And and because I told myself, I couldn't see past it. But then when I let go of this barrier that I had put on myself, I began to interact with other people and with other situations more I don't know the sunshine just came into came into my life you know and so sometimes we feel the way we feel and we consume the internet the way we consume it and we see life the way we see it because of barriers that we've put on ourselves and when and when you begin to accept yourself you lift that burden off yourself and then something that you would have you would have experienced as negative begins to be positive that makes sense you know like now you can because you think that um you're not say rich enough and then every time someone shares a picture of them on holiday you think that they are showing off because you can't attain it while when they were posting it they didn't have you in mind you see and then but when you accept that you know you're having a financial difficulty and this could change or you could start um doing a local visit like you don't have to go to santorini you know or something like that it becomes a different experience you start looking at that person's post as you vicariously visiting santorini or you getting information of in the event that you get to visit santorini even if it's in 10 years this is a place you can visit you understand and so it changes how you consume information and the internet in general which in turn just makes you feel better about yourself thanks for listening to me and thanks for uh staying in the video uh watching the video i am so glad that you are here please make sure you like subscribe and comment and share so that we can learn and grow together and we'll see you in the next video bye